name in Korean is Nancy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you need a story. Well, let's have my mom help us with that. Shall we? So, hi, Nate. Hi, Nate. So, I have a few questions for you. Hurry up, please. Since you're in such a rush, um, uh, all right. Who chose my name? What is the story behind my name? Who am I named after? I chose your name. You're named after a little boy named Natanya. But he's not so little anymore. He's actually older than you. So when I was working for a family, he asked me to name him. He asked me to name you after him. So that's what I did. So there you go. Your name is Natalia. That's true. So, uh, what about my middle name? How did I get it? Where did it come from? Well, I had thought about naming you Natalia Vencio. But then I said, why do I say Natalia Lee? Because your grandfather's middle name is Lee. And I also gave you his last name, which is Phil. So, uh, what about my nickname? Uh, how did I get it? What is it? And let's hear some history behind it. Well, your nickname is Meat, which I don't really like it 100%, but whatever. Your grandfather was having a hard time pronouncing Natanya. So, your auntie Renee and your grandfather came up with Meat. I like that. A lot of people can't pronounce my first name, so they're able to say me. Um, so I don't have any more questions for you. So you're free to go. Where you want me to go? Just go. Fine. Goodbye. Alright, breaking news everyone, we have this young man that decided not to answer his questions earlier, so he is on the news to answer these questions. Did that make sense? No, but let's get to it. So, Nate, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, your first question asks, what kind of people do you usually get along with? Is your personality more similar to your parents? Who? And do you think we are born with our personalities or do we develop them when we grow up or as we grow up? Right. Um, I think that I get along with everyone. Basically, everyone I talk to is my friends. Uh, I'm a very flexible person when it comes to personality. I feel that my personality most likely comes from my mom because she's a very energetic person and I'm just like that. And I feel our personalities are developed when we grow up but also we have them when we're younger, when we're first born and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so the first, sorry, not first. The second question asks, does one person character affect the personalities of surrounding people? Are you influenced by anyone you know? Uh, definitely. Uh, both answers are definitely. Everyone uh, can... Everyone can influence one person and you can be influenced and I'm influenced by all my family members and friends right. Yeah, everyone I know is connected and we have the same likes and dislikes Please stop talking. Please stop talking Okay, let's go to the next question does birth order affect personality? Yeah. Does it? Uh, yes. I said yes. <sighs> You're annoying. Okay, but can you go a little deeper? Can you explain between firstborn, lastborn, and only child? 
Okay. Uh, I feel firstborns, they have all most of the responsibility. While younger children, they don't have to worry about that. Yeah, they uh, like, yeah. They get more leniency and stuff like that. And her only child, I feel they get both sides of the stick. They get leniency, but they also have responsibilities. Yeah. So, yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah, I, I know. Agree with you. Yeah. Thank you. But no one cares about your opinion. So let's go to the next question. Does no, not does. <laughs> Sorry. What yeah, choices you. do we make about our own identities? How can our choices influence others who sees us? How can our choices influence how we understand about ourselves? Um, I'm not gonna lie. I feel that our identities are formed by who we talk to, hang around with, stuff like that. Um, it's very important that you are able to be flexible, but also know who to be friends with or who not to be, because you could end up in the wrong situations and stuff like that. Even though that's not the question you ask, I feel. Please stop. I like talking. your thought process. Um, thank now, you. Let me ask you this. If you had a Korean name, what would it be? Why and why did you choose it? Oh, um, my Korean name? I would say Jung Si Hae. I believe you say it. Yeah. I chose it because it was on Google. It sounds like an athlete name. And can you explain about your creative piece? Let's hear why you did what you did. Oh, my creative name piece, yes. Uh, well, for the first character, uh, Right, so for my name piece, the first character, I have it as the drums, uh, I believe the guitar and piano, and uh, the, also the stick looking thing is actually the recorder, so those are all the instruments I did in my past life, and two of them are doing right now, currently I'm doing the guitar and drums, but mainly the drums, uh, yeah. Now for the arrow, um, to be honest, I just didn't know the book, and I like a lot of action movies and things like that, so I thought that was a good thing, since I couldn't really draw a bullet, I just did an arrow, and me holding the stick, that has nothing to do with anything, except for, I guess you could say, Ninjago, when I was a kid, I watched a lot of Ninjago, and if you know Ninjago, um, this guy named Sensei Wu, everywhere he went, he carried out a stick. So yeah. Now, for the other character, the basketball is there and the flower. The basketball represents how I like a lot of sports. If you know me, I'm a very competitive person. And yeah, the, I mean, there's nothing really explain about that. I'm a sports topic guy. Now, for the flower, it uh, represents my kindness. I'm a very nice person, I want to say. I feel I'm very nice. Like, if you're my friend, I might mess around with you, act like I'm mean and stuff. But uh, I'm a very nice person. And it's actually very hard for me to like, be petty and like, do the wrong thing and stuff like that. Because like I know it's wrong. And for the last character, I did, I tried to do an eagle, but as you can see from Joseph's point of view, it looks like a face. But the reason why I tried to do an eagle is because that's one of my favorite football teams, Philadelphia Eagles. And that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah.